Hey guys, out of triple five here. Yeah, back in Toowoomba from my holidays down in Sydney. And you know what? We've just had some terrible weather here in Australia, especially at the eastern coast, where we've had massive bushfires raging on and burning up the countryside and spreading smoke everywhere. And now that I'm back in Toowoomba, we've got some rain again, which is great. We actually need this rain. As you can see, the ground here is very dry. Very dry indeed, except for that patch of green over there. They probably got rainwater tank water, so they're all right. But you know, with the animals and everything that we have in this rural countryside, they need the water, otherwise they'll just die. So I had a great time in Sydney, and I didn't really do any meetups or catch-ups or anything because when I was able to do that, I actually got sick. Yep, I got the man flu, had a bit of a fever, and it just was very lethargic and snot was coming out of my nose and everything. So I didn't really feel like doing a meetup, which is a shame. And I apologize to anyone that wanted to do a meetup, and yeah, I just kind of feel like I had a lot of false words in saying I'll do one. But, yeah, sorry, maybe next time. So I had a great time in Sydney. I got to spend it with my family and the missus's family. So it was great. So we packed up our house and moved into our new place, which is really cool. Uh, still living in the Toowoomba area. And we're mostly unpacked. Usually it takes me a few months to um, get there, but the missus is pretty good at unpacking, so we're mostly unpacked. I just got a few things to go, like the garage and my um, junk room slash recording studio slash YouTube editing place, whatever you'd call that. But mostly we're all good to go. And it's been pretty cool moving into the new place. Although the cat, Jinx, he, he's having a bit of a hard time. Um, he hasn't really pooped in the last week that we've been there. He's pooped like three times and for cats, you know, that's not, not usually normal. So the missus took him to the vet this morning. But he seems to be okay, so I don't know, we're giving him some laxative paste. Maybe he's got some fur balls in his gut, but it's most likely due to the stress of moving into a new place. And I hope you guys had a great Christmas as well, and yeah, sorry if your house got burnt down if you're in one of the fire affected areas. But hopefully, you know, everything will be good in the end. I haven't really used it yet on this channel, but the end of last year, when we went overseas on a holiday to Mauritius, I bought a DJI Mavic Air drone and that thing was pretty incredible and on my other Audi 555 channel, the one with the green logo, I've got a video of our Mauritius holiday which is pretty cool, lots of beaches and everything like that. But I was thinking about incorporating some more drone footage into my moto vlogs. I know a lot of moto vloggers do that and I think it makes it look really professional. But it's just hard when you, you, if you fly a drone and ride a bike at the same time to, to really get those scenes whilst doing both things. Like you can set the thing up to follow you, but I think that's a bit dangerous because you don't really have control over it if you're controlling a motorcycle. It's probably illegal, I don't know. Maybe I just need to hire a camera crew. But if I incorporate the drone into my moto vlogs, what do you guys want to see? Because there's not many moto vloggers that vlog from rural areas in Australia so we can see lots of different farms and paddocks and maybe even some bushland areas and things like that stuff that you wouldn't really see in, in a city so maybe that's an option but if you can think of any other suggestions I'll be open for it you know after at the end of the day you you're the, the, the viewers of my channel I'm making this content for you all to to devour and enjoy and have a good time watching so I, th I think drone footage would be cool. Oh, that's a cool bike. Yeah. Well, anyway, so this rain is gonna be good because the new place has got a rainwater tank and it was almost empty. So the water tank is hooked up to the toilet. So when you flush them, it uses rainwater, which is great to save on water. Um, but it was also hooked up to the, the outside taps as well. So you can water your grass and get it green unlike a lot of places around here. And you can also use it for your washing machine. But because the tank was almost empty, it was, it was very brown and sludgy looking. So I drained the tank onto the garden to make it green because this rain that's coming is gonna fill up my tank, hopefully. You know, fingers crossed. But at the end of the day, it probably won't rain. <laughs> Barely rains here. You, you could tell, like, this isn't 
we've got any water put on it because it's just a paddock. But as usual, keep safe out there on the roads, stay on two wheels and not on your head. And I'll see you all next Tuesday. Laters! Oh, do a trick, mate. Do a trick. <laughs>